They struck early at the homes of some high-profile Quebecers. Anti-corruption police made seven arrests. The biggest by far, Nathalie Normando, Quebec's former deputy premier under Jean Charest. Her former chief of staff also arrested, as was Marc-Yvan Côté, a former minister for the Quebec Liberals decades ago turned consultant for the Rush engineering firm. All three once testified in front of the province's public inquiry into corruption. There, under oath, the former deputy premier denied she was involved in illegal party financing. Nathalie Normando. But now she's facing criminal charges, fraud, breach of trust, conspiracy. It's the first time Quebec's special anti-corruption squad has charged such a high-ranking politician. You know, we have uh, what I call a, a sprint investigation, maybe one month, one month and a half, and we have marathon investigation. This one was a marathon, nearly five years long, one which police say uncovered a systemic problem, a conspiracy to trade political donations for public contracts. In Quebec City, it was budget day. The Liberal Premier had hoped to brag about sound finances. Instead, he was forced to talk about allegations of corruption in his party. Well, not the Liberal Party that I chair today. Uh, we've completely changed the way we do things because of laws, because also the way we've, doing th we've done things internally, uh, creating a code of ethics. The arrests cross party lines. Two former Pelsi Québécois aides are also facing charges, but the fact criminal charges were laid at all is a surprise for Alain Gravel, one of the investigative journalists who provided the first glimpse into the depth of possible corruption in Quebec. I thought they relinquished the idea of uh, getting so high at that level, at the provincial level. So we'll see. It's, it's a beginning of something. Uh, some told me that it's only the beginning. Normando wasn't talking today, but her lawyer was. He says she's innocent and she looks forward to one day proving it in court. Salima Shivji, CBC News, Montreal.